So I've already primed and moisturized my face, so the first thing I'm going to do is go right in with concealer. The concealer I'm using is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. It just has the best coverage and is really blendable. For foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Go To Compact. It has a very similar formula as the original Double Wear Foundation. It's just high coverage and very, very natural looking. And to highlight my face, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's an oldie, but it's very much a goodie. And I'm just putting that on my under eyes, my nose bridge, forehead, and my chin. And I'm blending that in with my beauty blender. To set the face, I'm using my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. And I'm focusing more on the center of my face. So now that we got the base down, I'm going to go right into the brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. First, I'm just brushing my brows into place and then I'm going to fill in any empty spaces that I see and also elongate the tails of my brows. Next, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama Gel and I'm just going to make sure that the front part of my brows stick up and that all my brows stay in place. So now that we're done with the brows, I'm going to dive right into the eyes and I'm using the Balm Nude Tude Eyeshadow Palette starting off with the color Sultry, which is just a darker brown and I'm going to put that on the base of my lids and with any left, I'm just going to put that on my nose for my nose contour. Next, I'm going to go in with the 3 Concept Eyes Blusher in Orange Sugar and I'm going to put that all over the lid going over the brown that we just put on as well and I'm using my finger to get the best color payoff. I'm also going to put that same color on the bottom lash line as well. For the next step, I'm using ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Waddles. It's just a really pinkish, orangey, shimmery tone and I'm going to focus that on the outer corners, kind of in the V shape and also the inner corners as well. Now to really make my eyes pop, I'm going in with NYX's Lip Pencil in Dolly Pink and I'm just going to line my lids like an eyeliner and also my bottom lash line as well and just blend that out with a brush. Next, I'm going to go back with the very first color that we use and create something called Ego Style in Korean. Basically, you're creating eye bags under your eyes but it gives your eyes a lot more of a doll-like cute effect. Then I'm going to go in with Tony Moly's Crystal Lovely Eyes in gold and just go over the under eyes and also the inner corners and put that right on top of the center of my eyelid as well. To tightline my eyes, I'm using the NYC Waterproof Eyeliner in Dark Brown. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to go in with the 3 Concept Eyes Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner in Brown. And I'm going to create a very thin line slanting it downwards. And that's the finished eye look. Next, with that same liner, I'm going to create faux freckles on my face. I've just been really loving faux freckles recently. It just makes your face look super cute. And to make it look a little bit more natural, I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender with any leftover foundation and just pat that on my face. Next, I'm curling my lashes with the Revlon Eyelash Curler and then I'm going to put on falsies. These ones I got off of YesStyle for literally $3 but the band was kind of made out of string so I couldn't put them on my eyes perfectly but nonetheless, bam, there's the finished eye look with the lashes. Next, for mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic, of course, and I'm also going to put some on my bottom lashes as well. For contour, I'm going to go right in with Benefits Hoola, focusing more on my jawline and my hairline to create the illusion of a smaller looking face. And for my cheekbones, I'm just going to go very, very lightly. And then I'm going to contour my nose as well to create the illusion of a straighter and higher nose bridge. 
For blush, I'm actually going to be using two. The first one is from Hourglass, and it's just a really, really pretty pink shimmery shade. It's really pigmented, so I'm just using a more fluffy brush. And then I'm going to go over the same areas with the second blush, which is the orange one that we used earlier, and I'm going to put that on my cheeks. But I'm also going to put some on my nose bridge to kind of connect the colors, and then also put some on my temples as well. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the same Tony Moly Christy Lovely Eyes in Gold that we used earlier. And I'm going to put that on my cheekbones and also my nose bridge and my cupid's bow and my chin. And I'm using the smudge end. Um, and I found that this worked really well because it's super pigmented and it gave the perfect amount of shimmer. Now we are almost nearing the end of this look, but I'm just going to finish it off with the lips. And I'm going to be using Revlon's Orange Electric for the first shade. It's a very bright orangey reddish tone, but it does have a very um, sheer and natural finish. But I'm just going to blot it with some tissue to kind of tone down that orange color. Then for the second color, I'm using ColourPop's Oversized. It's a very corally, orangey tone. I'm just going to use that on the inner parts of my lips and blend that out with my finger. And makeup done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I've been loving orange lately, so I've been wearing this makeup look a lot. If you did, please thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Stephanie On. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.